What's up, Pro Guides family? The Nexus War has begun. It's a blending of the Fortnite and Marvel universes, all in a bid to stop Galactus as he barrels towards the Fortnite island with only the thought of devouring its unlimited mystical energies on his mind. I'm Matt, and in today's video, we're going to be covering all the changes in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4. Or should that be Season Thor? The Marvel and Fortnite universes have collided, and that means there are some all new Marvel themed locations scattered across the map. First up, there's the location that we can easily see in the trailers, the Shield Helicarrier. The Helicarrier is actually the new spawn island for this season, so you won't be able to get to it after the start of the game. If you're a fan of the X-Men like me, then you'll probably find the Sentinel Graveyard a pretty cool place to visit. Scattered with destroyed remains of one of the X-Men's greatest villains, this location is near the bridge. If you need to rotate out of the area quickly, jump onto a Sentinel hand to be launched sky high. Finally, there's the biggest change on the map. Pleasant Park is no more. Instead, it has been replaced by evil Doctor Doom's domain. Okay, maybe saying that Pleasant is no more is a little bit dramatic, because the actual changes to the location aren't actually that extensive. It's basically just Pleasant with the worst building taken away and transformed into Doom's lair, as well as a new statue of Doctor Doom which has been placed in the center of the town. Across the map, there are also going to be Quinjet landing sites. These jets will be guarded by Stark bots, so be ready to take out this new class of henchmen if you manage to spot one. Of course, with new locations based around new characters, there are also a bunch of new mythic items for us all to collect. Though this time, these items are not going to be based around weapons that are already in the game. They are based on superpowers. For defeating Doctor Doom, you get Doctor Doom's Mystical Bomb, which allows you to conjure and throw a massive ball of arcane energy that it explodes on impact, as well as Doom's gauntlets, which allow you to fire bolts of energy at your opponents. Both of these also set structures and enemies on fire. If you land at a Quinjet and destroy one of Stark's drones, you have the ability to obtain the Silver Surfer's Surfboard, which allows you to spring up into the air and fly for a short while, or Groot's Bramble Shield which kind of works like a baller that heals you. If you defeat a Stark bot, you can take a Stark Industries energy rifle, which is basically an AR that does insane amounts of damage. While this is an energy rifle, you don't need to worry because it takes the exact same ammo as any other assault rifle in the game. As with every new season in Fortnite, weapons have come out of the vault and other weapons have gone into the vault. Oh, and there are some brand new weapons too. The biggest news in this patch weapon wise, news that I'm sure all of you are going to be pretty hyped by, is that the pump shotgun is officially back in the game. Originally vaulted at the start of last season, everyone has been asking for this pump to come back, so it's awesome to finally see it back in Fortnite. Of course, if one shotgun is coming out of the vault, another one has to go in, and while you might expect that to be Season 3's charge shotgun, you would unfortunately be sorely mistaken. Instead, Epic is actually putting the TAC shotgun into the vault instead. But don't worry, if you want a semi-automatic shotgun to have some fun with, the combat shotgun has also been unvaulted. But you won't see it just lying around. You have to take out Doom's henchmen in order to grab it. Alongside the tactical shotgun, the epic and legendary pistols, the rapid fire SMG, the epic and legendary hunting rifle, and finally the flare gun will all also be going into the vault. They are going to be replaced by the legendary and epic revolver, which was vaulted in chapter 2 season 1, the rare and uncommon scoped assault rifle, which was vaulted in chapter 2 season 3, and the epic rare and uncommon tactical SMG, which was vaulted in chapter 2 season 1. When it comes to throwables, the decoy, the stink bomb and the launch pad are all going into the vault. Meanwhile, the portafort, shockwave grenade, boogie bomb and bounce pad are all available for use once again. A new trap has been added to the game this season, and that's the fire trap. When an enemy triggers the fire trap, it will deal damage to them, but it will also launch dangerous fireballs that will no doubt be able to set enemies and structures alike on fire. This is the only new weapon or trap that has been added to the floor loot pool in this patch. 
One of the biggest changes that this season will see are actually a bunch of new floppers. We've spoken about these floppers in the past and now they're finally here. There's the Vendetta Flopper, which marks a nearby enemy, the Spicy Fish, which will give you a speed boost, the Hop Flopper, which will give you low gravity jumps, the Jelly Flish, which is basically a flopper chug splash, the Shield Fish, which gives you more shields than usual, and finally, the Thermal Fish, which will give you thermal vision. To catch all of these fish, you're going to need something a little bit better than the normal fishing rod. You'll need the new Golden Pro fishing rod instead, and with that rod, you might even be able to find the secret Midas fish. Data miners are getting better and better at their jobs all the time, and while we no longer get patch notes from Epic detailing the different changes to the game, miners like Hypex and Vast Blast are giving us new insights on what has changed in-game. The spawn rates of all cars have been decreased by 30%, so while they may still spawn on the Fortnite island, it will be much less common for them to do so. Standard floppers have also been adjusted. While they used to give you 50 health for every flopper that you consumed, they will now only give you 40. If you want to use a campfire to regain some of your health, it's going to cost you a little bit less to stoke the flames in Chapter 2 Season 4. To reuse a campfire, it's now 200 wood instead of 300. In an odd move, Epic have also nerfed the number of chests that spawn on the Fortnite island every game. Each and every chest spawn location has gone down from a minimum spawn rate of 100% to 50% and a maximum spawn rate of 100% to 70%. That means chest loot might be a bit harder to come across in this season. Well guys, that is everything from the new season. We hope you enjoy everything new on the island in Season 4. And hey, if you're buying the new Battle Pass, why not uh, just, uh, just slip the Creator Code Pro Guides in there? You know, if you wanted to, maybe. Or you could like the video and subscribe to the channel. That, that works. That works too. Anyway, I've been Matt, and I'll catch you in the next update.